Hey guys, Michael Marshawn, your Choose to Win Ziggler licensed coach, uh, Texas broker, San Antonio realtor, all that good stuff. Uh, back again today with a video I'm really excited about. Today's video um, is focusing on finding your passion, finding work that you're passionate about doing. Now, work shouldn't feel like work, and it should be something that you would do even if you're not getting paid for it. So, my question to you guys is, do you love your work? Based off that definition, now, are you passionate about it? Uh, do you find fulfillment in it? Does it bring you joy? Would you do it if you weren't getting paid for it? If you answered no, then I want you to keep watching because this video is for you. Now, again, this one's dedicated to all the guys out there because somewhere between 50 and 80% of guys um, are in a job or in a career that they don't love, that they don't find fulfillment in, that they're not passionate about. And best case, that's one out of every two guys. Worst case, you know, that's 80% of guys out there do not enjoy their work. And I don't know about you, but life is too long. Like, I don't want to spend 40 years doing a job that I don't love. Now, I want to be able to work till I'm 80 because I don't want to quit doing what I'm doing because I love it so much. And um, if you are in the position where you say, I don't love my job. That is what I want to discuss today. I'm speaking specifically to you. So if you happen to be one of the guys that's on this video, if you happen to be one of the guys on this video, and maybe you're just graduating high school or even college, um, I want you to just pause for a second and ask yourself, am I going into or am I pursuing something after high school, after college, whatever it may be, that is something I truly love doing, that I'm truly passionate about doing. Maybe you haven't even started the career, so you have no idea or no way of knowing. But if you ask yourself some hard questions, you ask yourself, have a real honest conversation, um, is it something that you're doing for you because you love it? Or is it something that you've been kind of guided or pushed towards? Um, that would be my question for you guys. And if you're not sure, then I would encourage you to continue watching because at the end I have an offer that uh, will give you the clarity that you need. Um, because whether you're graduating high school or you're graduating college, maybe you already invested four years in college and you feel like you're stuck now. I would encourage you that you're going to spend another 40 years uh, more willing doing the job that you just finished four years to get. So because you invested the time and money now doesn't necessarily mean that it's too late. You still can pivot. You still can change. Um, and if you're just getting out of high school, you have maybe no clue what you want to be doing. That is even better because you have a blank slate. You haven't committed to anything. You haven't wasted time. You haven't invested a bunch of money. And you have the ability to start off on the right trajectory from day one, which will save you, if you're in my case, 20 years of doing a job that you don't really enjoy or you don't really care about that you're not passionate about. And that is my heart behind this video. That's my heart behind this page. So I want to go over some common objections that I hear from guys that I coach and uh, common objections as to why they can't or why they think they can't um, continue down the path towards change and continue towards uh, pursuing a career that they actually love. So the most common objection is what if I fail? I'm scared to make a move. Like you're scared, you haven't been paralyzed by fear. Um, now, as a guy, I don't like to admit that I'm scared of anything, <laughs> of course not. So change can be scary. Now, sometimes small change, yeah, it's like whatever. But when you get to something that's maybe on the level of a career change or a uh, drastic change in direction for your life, maybe you found out after being in a career 20 years like I have that that's not what you want to be doing at all. I always knew it wasn't what I wanted to be doing, but I was too scared to make a move for a large part of that. So I would encourage you that... Um, it is much more painful. I can speak from personal experience in this. It's much more painful to continue doing a job that you don't love than it is to deal with the temporary pain of shifting, changing course, and going the direction that you're really meant to be going. So will there be pain involved? Absolutely. Is it possible you're going to fail and fall flat on your face? Absolutely. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that everything's a sure fire guarantee, but the reality is that if you have somebody in your corner, if you have somebody backing you, you have a solid plan on how to get where you're going, then you have two legs up on every other person out there that's just giving it a go. So the second thing is the objection that I hear is, I make too much money to quit. I have a lifestyle, I'm accustomed to living a certain way, 
And my job, my J-O-B, the thing that I just do for a paycheck, pays the bills and it allows me to live this lifestyle. I would say that that's replacement behavior and that is a valid excuse. Yes, they're all valid excuses, they're all valid fears. But again, it's the same thing. Money can't buy happiness. And may you have to adjust your lifestyle a little bit temporarily? Maybe, maybe not. We don't know. But the reality is that you have two choices. You continue down the road that you know doesn't make you happy. You can attempt to buy happiness with things and possessions and all that stuff, or you can change direction and go a course that puts you on a path to doing what you were actually put on this earth to do. And I do believe 100% that every single person on earth has a calling, has a job, has a career that is meant for them. So the third thing, um, I love my job, but it's costing me too much. So sometimes I find people that love what they do but it's throwing everything else in their life out of bounds. Now, sometimes that's because they're working 80 hour weeks. Sometimes it's because they're just not making enough money. Uh, there's lots of different reasons that that could happen. And my encouragement would be to you, don't quit what you're doing. Let's have a conversation about it. Let's go through the big picture. You gotta look at the big picture here. Where are you trying to go? What's going on here in the moment that's causing you that pain? And let's see if we can't figure it out and bring some balance. Because finding the right job, finding the right career is great, but if it costs you uh, in other areas, then that kind of defeats the purpose of it. So the fourth and my personal favorite objection, I love, love, love this one, is I don't know what I really want to do. Yes! I love it when people tell me that because that means you are being honest with yourself. You have no clue what you want to do, but you know that you don't know what you want to do, which is a huge starting point. So not knowing what you want to do but having somebody like myself that can ask you those questions, that can dive deep with you and get you to the point of, okay, this is what I'm passionate about. I feel like this is where I need to be going. Let's chart a course that direction and see where it takes us. Is it going to be perfect every single time? Are we going to have to adjust along the way? Probably. But the reality is that if you don't start, you're never going to finish. So again, I want to reiterate, all these objections are real and um, I can speak from experience to most of them. Now, I started out when I was 18. Uh, I got a medical job as an EMT. I had no desire to really go into the medical field, but that's what my parents said I should do, so <laughs> that's what I did. Um, I moved my way up from there. Eventually, I joined the military when I was uh, in my early 20s because I just wanted to get away from it all. I was like, I know I don't like this, um, the military is going to move me. I can travel and get some new experiences. So I'm going to go do that. I did the military for seven years. Again, love serving my country and I would do it again in a heartbeat. But military wasn't, a, wasn't my end thing. It was just something to kind of get me out of my current situation. So I was running from my current situation more than I was running to anything else. Again, got out of the military, got a job in radiology, shooting dex rays, doing CAT scans. Ended up doing that for eight years. Um, what I liked about it is I got to help people. What I didn't like about it is at best, I was just kind of putting them back together. <laughs> so I wanted to actually have an impact on people. That's always been my heart and my passion. Um, so when I got out of that, I got into real estate. And I got into real estate because purchasing a home or selling a home is dealing with people's largest investment or what I thought was their largest investment. I've come to reconsider that a little bit. but. What I found was that I can have um, everything I want in real estate if I form strong relationships. So I was all about helping people and I wanted to give people my best. And the best way that I found to do that was to form relationships with people and work exclusively by referral. So that having been said, I found that I could help people. But again, it was a step in the right direction. It got me closer to where I wanted to be but it wasn't having the lasting impact that I really wanted. And that's what takes us to today, where I'm standing here talking to you on this video, and I am a life coach, a licensed life coach now. Now, it was a long, long journey to get here. It's something that in my heart of hearts, I always knew I wanted to go that direction. Um, I was always interested in it, intrigued by it, but for many of the same objections that I just mentioned, I chose not to do it. And again, staying where you are is a choice. You have a choice to move, you have a choice to go a different direction, or you have a choice to stay right where you are. And I understand that staying put is the easy choice, and maybe where you want to go is a long road. I understand that as well. Nobody's saying that you have to get there tomorrow. 
All I'm saying is that you have to start. Take the next step. For you, if you fall into one of those categories where you don't know what you want to do, or you know you don't like what you're doing, but you don't know what you want to do, or maybe you feel like, I make too much money, but I'm not happy with it. I'm not satisfied. Whatever it is for you, I want to encourage you that the next step for you is to schedule a session with me. I'm offering you as my gift to you a one hour strategy session. And during that strategy session, what we'll do is take a deep dive into who you are as a person. What makes you tick, what your passions are, what your drive is. And then we're going to be able to, from that, I'll be able to pull um, what it is that I feel like you should be doing based off the questions that you're going to answer. And that will give us a more clear why. And once we have the why, then the what and the how is easy. That will fall into place. But it all starts with why. So my goal during that hour-long strategy session is to get to your why. And from the why, we can figure out the what and we can figure out the how. We can build a roadmap of how we're going to get there. And we can chart a course that's going to change the direction of your life. Now, my goal is to help everybody that wants it. I have limited slots available for this, so you may have to wait a little while. But I would encourage you to take the first step, at least, because if nothing changes, nothing changes. And I can't reach out to you guys. This is my invitation to you to reach out to me. I put the offer out there, and the ball is back in your court. So I hope this spoke to you guys. Um, if you're encouraged by what I'm saying, if you're interested, again, my contact information, my email, my phone number is on the last page of the slide here. And I want you to shoot me an email, shoot me a text message, give me a call, however you want to communicate, and just let me know you saw this video and that you want to take me up on my offer of a free one-hour strategy session. And we will get it on the books and we will make it happen. Um, if you don't and you're not quite convinced, I want you to have an honest conversation with yourself. Again, is this a job that you would be doing if you weren't getting paid for it? That's kind of my metric. I can tell you right now that I would be making these videos. I would be coaching people. I would be doing all of that even if I wasn't getting paid for it. In fact, I do a lot of that right now in real estate. So that is my passion for you guys. That is my desire for you guys. That everybody watching this video, every guy out there that is unhappy in his career finds a purpose and finds a calling that he is drawn to that he can get behind that will fulfill him like nothing else can anyway guys that's it thanks for watching check out my next video on mindset versus matter uh, if you're thinking about taking the next step we're not quite sure there this will explain a lot of this video will have a lot more details on exactly what you're dealing with in terms of the brain maybe the physiology of it and maybe help you understand where some of this fear and concern is coming from. Anyway, guys, till next time.